Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. And although this channel is for Japanese figurines and collectibles which we sell through the eBay store, uh, I thought I'd also, uh, well as you know, I've also been uh, collecting vintage Lego Pirate. And the two are actually linked, oddly enough, because I was out shopping with my girlfriend for her birthday earlier this year, and my eye just happened to catch a Lego pirate ship and I haven't really been sort of following what Lego have been doing for many years and I saw this pirate ship and I noted the set number it's this one I'm talking about and so I went on to you know online and just was sort of looking about this this set and I actually found on YouTube there were some really good reviews of this set and that's got what got me into uh, sort of looking at you know YouTube videos of Lego and then I thought, well, why don't we do that for, you know, figuring out Japan and the Japanese figures? So that's why uh, the channel exists. It was sort of inspired from uh, these reviews of the of, of Lego. So there are some really good uh, Lego channels out there. My favorite is the Brick Show. So shout out to them. They do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, but there's also some other good ones like Jane Bricks and the Brick Queen does some really good comparison videos. So, yeah, really great to see people just kind of doing these videos. And I also, I've sort of whacked all this into the same channel. I probably shouldn't have, but um, I was really surprised to see that there are some really, like, iconic vintage sets, like the Trading Post and the Skulls Ice Schooner, that people had never done YouTube video reviews of. So, I thought, well, since I'm collecting these anyway, I may as well uh, do video reviews of those as well. So, that's how it all kind of started and uh, and came out to be. Now, the reason why I actually went and collected the vintage sets was I actually felt that the... I mean, the new sets, I feel they, they're good. I mean, they look like Lego Pirate. They I think they're sort of true to the, the originals. They're kind of new, but they're kind of old, if that makes sense. And... But I think when you really look at the, the details and the specifics of these sets, they just don't compare to the vintage ones. I, I really feel that Lego just didn't quite spend the, the budget and the time to really do this properly. And I feel that the vintage sets are still superior sets. And because for me as well, there's the nostalgic factor of growing up with these sets, I decided to, to go and get the vintage stuff, which has definitely made my wallet cry, but it has made me smile so it's all good so I've actually reviewed all of these sets individually so I'm not going to bore you with everything but just to sort of point out two sets here uh, this one is a mock set and I bought this one online and when I actually reviewed it I commented that I actually felt that it was it actually really seemed very much in, in tune with the other sets of that time, which was the Sabre Island and the Caribbean Clipper. And, you know, it could have easily, it actually felt like it was a commercially released set, even though it was a, just a, a mock. And someone was kind enough to actually point out that LEGO did in fact actually release instructions to build this set. They never, you could never buy it, but they did as a, like a promo have the instructions. Uh, so I might actually put the link to that in the description of this one. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was really cool. Actually, I didn't regret buying this, knowing that, um, because I feel the hardest part with mock sets is actually getting the pieces. So, I mean, obviously you need creativity, but I think getting the pieces is the hardest thing. And, uh, so I'm really glad to have that one in the collection. The other one is the most expensive one, which was the, it was, I actually again bought this one. And it, it was sold as like a modified Caribbean Clipper, but I think it's really a modified uh, Black Seas Barracuda. I actually did that with Roger sort of being handcuffed and being taken to jail. But yeah, you can see it's pretty much the Black Seas Barracuda just with some sort of soldier touches. I thought it'd look cool filming this with the light coming in, but it, you can't. See, it does look a bit dark some some places, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, now I'm pretty much done collecting the vintage pirates. To be honest, uh, there are a couple of sets I would like to get, which is the Forbidden Island. 
because that's the last one I need from the very original, the very first uh, 1989 set. But I do already have two pirate bases, the Rock Refuge and the Skull Island, so we'll see. And also the Imperial Trading Ship, not the one from 2010, but the one from the early 90s, which came out the same year as this one, this set. But that's a really expensive set, even though it's really not that big, so... Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Now you will notice though that there's a couple of really iconic sets missing, which is the Black Seas Barracuda and the Eldorado Fortress. I do have those sets, but they're back home. I'm filming this in Japan. Uh, they're back home at my parents' house. The Black Seas Barracuda I actually got when it was re-released in the early 2000s. And the Eldorado Fortress, I actually bought that um, on eBay many years ago it was meant to be complete it wasn't and I actually then bought another one this year but the seller was a real absolute I, I don't swear in my videos so I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave it at that but they were just really not nice and they sent it deliberately to the wrong address even though I and they'd agreed not not to send it and send it to the right address but Anyway, long story I won't go into, but I may uh, do reviews of those when I go back home for Christmas. I also have two sets from my childhood, actually. Um, my parents just couldn't afford Lego Pirates. It's very expensive. I actually have done analysis, which I include in all the videos, showing on inflated adjusted terms how expensive uh, Lego Pirate was back then. Uh, generally, these sold on an inflated adjusted basis, so in today's dollar terms, for around 20, around 25 cents per piece, which is really, really expensive. So, because Lego is a lot cheaper now, so they were very, very expensive. But I had the, I still have them, the Renegade Runner, which is sort of like the mini Skulls Ice Schooner, and also the Smuggler's Shanty, which is a small set, it's like two pirates and a little shack on the beach. So I may show those when I go back for Christmas as well. Not really sets particularly worth getting if you're into, you know, getting the vintage stuff. But, um, yeah, but as I said, the Black Seas Barracuda and Eldorado Fortress are very, very cool sets. If I was to get one pirate set and one soldier set, they would be the two that I get. In terms of why I like Lego Pirates, I don't really know, to be honest. Um... They were sort of coming out just as I was, you know, kind of growing up and old enough to start getting into Lego as a kid. But they are actually really, really iconic sets because it was actually the first time that Lego went away from just the standard bases. So this is like a standard, I mean, I'm sure you guys know this, but if I can get it in focus, the standard sort of two, oh, come on. There's two dots with a, with a line for a face. There we go. There we go. So all Lego minifigures had that face prior to the Lego Pirates. But when these guys came out, they started introducing these kind of faces with like color and beards and patches and that sort of stuff. So I guess they, they look a little bit outdated now, you know, because they don't have back printing and some of the other stuff that Lego has introduced now. But these were, you know, sort of way ahead of their time. And just all the cool stuff, you know, you see the, the, the detail on the printing. Even the soldiers, you know, they look pretty good. Actually, I'll show an Admiral. The Admirals are pretty cool. You can see the vest. And, you know, the hat. This one's a bit damaged, but the epaulettes. Just all the detail. And, you know, even things like the cranes, you know, the cranes at work. Cannons at fire. These really fire. You got big ships with masts. You got treasure chests with gold. You got boats. Um, just all the cool stuff. Even some of the smaller sets, like a set like this. You know, really cool base plate. It's got some green and you can't really see it, but some green and yellow. Three mini figs for a set that's less than a hundred pieces. You know, cool flag and a tower boat. Even, you know, the backs of the sets, they had like ladders to actually, for the figures to climb up on. 
you didn't just have to use your imagination. So I wouldn't even say that these sets were good for their time. They're good in today's terms as well. If Lego, like these are better than the, the 2015 ones. So I know Lego have released, you know, larger and, and, and better sets. You know, some of the stuff they release now is pretty cool, but these sets still hold... I don't, I don't feel they look outdated at all, frankly. I still think that in, in today's terms, these are just terrific Lego sets. And it's not surprising that these are very, very expensive to buy. But anyway, I just thought I would show everything here together because this is, uh, you know, as we're nearly at the end of 2015, this has sort of been a year of me collecting vintage pirates. As I said, I don't really expect to be buying uh, much more of this stuff, so I thought I'd just show a video with everything together. Um, I will put in the description um, some information such as the, the set names and numbers and the links to each of the video reviews. And I'll also put that uh, price analysis that I mentioned earlier. Um, have had some really nice comments actually in some of those videos. People saying, yeah, I remember these sets as a kid and you know, just people sort of sharing their memories or their knowledge about these sets. So um, I do check all the comments. I um, really appreciate those. So uh, thanks, thanks for watching those videos and also this one. See you in the next video.